भाई क्लियर कर दो प्लीज सोनम जी आ जाएंगे मिल रहे हैं सोनम जी आइए मत ये धक्का मत दो भाई अभी साइड भाई अभी साइड आ जा साइड में ले आ जा हो जाए हो जाए हो जाए मैम सेंटर में सेंटर में मैम सर अरे जाना अरे भाई साइड भाई साइड हो लाइट मार रहे हैं सोनम जी सोनम जी सोनम जी सोनम जी सोनम जी सोनम जी आ जाए एक सेकंड एक मिनट एक मिनट अरे 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 पीछे थोड़ा थोड़ा आगे आगे थोड़ा आगे आगे ना थोड़ा कोई सेकंड या बस 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 मैम लेफ्ट दे लेफ्ट मैम लेफ्ट अरे मेरे पास कर रहे अरे नहीं रे पापा सोनम जी लेफ्ट में लेफ्ट में सोनम जी आ रहे सोनम जी लेफ्ट में लेफ्ट में सोनम जी लेफ्ट में आपके मैम सेंटर चलो चलो थैंक्स 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 सोनम जी और मैम अरे चलो 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 और मैडम चलो चलो आराम से Sonam, you mentioned you gained a lot of weight. How much weight did you gain? Thirty-six kgs. Thirty-six? She, she beat me. How But many women was, gain? You did not gain thirty-six. I was. It. I was. I was fifty-eight. I was very. I was too thin before I got pregnant. I have a tendency to be too thin because my it's genetic. So I I was very thin. Right now I'm still. Like around eight nine kgs more than so thirty six and you 36. did that. How many women here gained more than twenty kilos? Just oh almost okay. everyone. How many more than thirty kilos? Okay, tell me. How many like at the right twelve to fifteen? Okay, I don't like you guys. You're just very mean people. No, I mean it's it's. I'm telling you, it's body like I don't know. I thought every time I was just breathing air and I was putting on weight. Yeah, like I was scared. The person I didn't want to meet was my OBGYN. I, I think, I think as long see, I didn't have I didn't have high blood pressure. I didn't get gestational diabetes. I didn't have preeclampsia. I didn't have any of those things. And I started off. I'm like almost five eleven. I started off very very thin. So I just became. You know, yeah. I, I think the key, guys, is to lose weight before. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if that's good as well. You just have to be healthy. Just be. Yeah, no, but I yeah. think I think uh, I I probably should say this that no matter how much weight you put on, you will shed it all once the baby is out and you are running. Not in the first year, but but two three years you will definitely get rid of that because it's a hard job. You take time. It takes you. It takes. One year to grow a child, your whole body changes. Your organs have shifted. Your ribs have expanded. Your hips, your pelvic floor is expanded. If you you'll take at least two years to get your body back yeah. to what it used to be. Right. Yeah. Tell me, Sonam, for someone who's always known as a style icon, um, embracing a newer version of you in a different shape, different size, being in a space where you're like. You know what? I don't want to rush into this, even though people look up to me. Um, how do you? How has your fashion evolved in this process? First of all, people make the worst maternity clothes. <laughs> I just want you to know. I feel like fashion needs to evolve where maternity clothes and bigger girls are concerned. There isn't literally anything that you can find in the market. Um, And so I was just like, I need to find regular clothes that I can wear as a pregnant lady, and I tried to find clothes that would fit me when I was pregnant, which was impossible. But I found some. I, I did not. I be, I bought some maternity jeans, but I just found everything else heinous. It was horrible. They're like so ugly. Some of the maternity. But you still clothes. managed to look really good. Thanks. <laughs> you, just those six pictures that you showed are those pictures that you can see. Those I put on social media. <laughs> Otherwise, the rest of the time I was in kaftans. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, sure. We're gonna play a quick rapid fire. You've got to answer these just in about a word. One thing that worried you about being pregnant. Before I got pregnant or during yeah. my pregnancy. Before. You know, like a few of my friends, I, I was 36 years old when I got pregnant. Um, 
so it's an advanced, preg advanced age pregnancy. Um, a few of my friends had gotten pregnant um, also at a similar age who were older than me, and they kept telling me about all these tests that they needed to take to, you know, check the health of the child, of the fetus, etc. And, you know, that anxiety was always there, right? You always have that anxiety every time you go for a checkup or a sonography or something. There's always anxiety. Is my baby okay? Is everything going to be okay? And I sort of started getting that anxiety from before I got pregnant, um, you know? And, yeah. uh, it's about the child. Yeah. How did tracking your ovulation make you feel? You know, this I mean, it's stress-free because you're not, you're not guessing when you're supposed to have sex, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it sort of takes out the romance for a short period of time, but then you get into it, you know, you make it happen, especially if you love your I love, husband. I love how honest <laughs> she is. <laughs> One thing you did to boost your immunity that you would recommend to all moms? I think folic acid, iron, all, all the, the supplements that you see has everything in it, you know? Um, I would suggest, is there omega in it as well? Yeah. Yeah, and so there's nothing that's not there in it. Right. So supplementing with a good balanced diet is what you need. And drink lots of water, always. One thing that came to your mind when you saw the two lines on the rapid detection kit? Well, I was quite excited. I remember it was Christmas. It was on 25th of December, I found out I was pregnant. It, might, it, was, uh, it was special. And... Uh, the weird thing was my husband had COVID at that time, so he was sleeping in two separate rooms. And, um, you know, I missed my period. I was like, I'm pregnant. He's like, great. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, are, we, we were literally on FaceTime in the same apartment. How, how uncanny is yeah, that, right? The biggest news of your life, of your marriage, and you want to, like, share it on FaceTime. The one thing that scared you when you went to the doctors, don't tell me it was the weight. No, I, I mean, that was always like, I remember Avan used to keep like saying like, what is this Sonam? I was like, I swear to God, I'm eating exactly what you're telling me to eat. I'm just gaining this weight. I'm not cheating. Um, it wasn't my weight though. It wasn't, that wasn't scary. It was just, you know, I think as a first time mom, everything just makes you nervous. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. The question you Googled most when you were pregnant. How much weight are you supposed to put on? <laughs> Okay, one health routine you would never skip? Um, exercising. I exercised through my pregnancy. And um, I did uh, Pilates. You know, this is like, an, unless the doctor tells you you have to lay flat on your back, you should walk and do Pilates and weight training and you need to exercise. Be careful of yoga. Uh, unless you know a yoga practitioner who knows maternity yoga. Uh, because that can be a little dangerous. But and two heavy weights, like, yeah. but just be active. Right. One pregnancy symptom that you remember the most? Um, I was nauseous for the first three months, but I never threw up. Um, so I never got any relief. So I was just constantly nauseous, which was horrendous. Because no. I'm like nauseous and you know, you want to like, you want to throw yeah. up, but I couldn't throw up. Yeah. Um, that, was, that wasn't great. Right. One word that you would like to erase from your dictionary after motherhood? One word? Uh, no, I mean, there isn't really any such okay. word. I can't think of anything right now. Nine months in or nine months out? The easier phase. Nine months in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How many people agree? Nine months in. Oh, man. Who the, is better at changing diapers, you or Anand? Definitely me. Okay. <laughs> Who is better at putting the baby to sleep, you or your partner? Me. Okay. The first person I called to share the good news, and now I know the answer, it was uh, Anand. But no matter what, the first thing my child said was Dada. <laughs> he did not say Mama, no matter what I was doing for that child. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, play dates with his father, huh? Play dates or girls' night out, the easier ones to plan? I think they're equally difficult because a lot of my friends are moms now and we all like to get into bed by like 10. So like you cancel <laughs> in on plans like, okay guys, I can't come in today. Or you're waiting for girls to cancel plans. Who else waits for their friends to say, nah, yoga? I just yeah. want everybody to know my child is just, after a year, started sleeping through the night, okay? 
So I had no night plans for I don't know how long. Okay, last one. Yeah. Baby monitor or shoot monitors? The one you check more often now. The baby monitor. Um, it's going to be a while till you give up on that one. No, I think <laughs> the, shoot ma the shoot monitor I never checked in the first place because I had an amazing team, you know, who takes care of me. I've had the same team since I joined this film industry. Lovely. So, you know, Namrata, who's done my makeup, I don't know if she's here, I don't know where she's gone. Um, I have the, I've had literally the same, 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 same team. So, you Incredible. know, they make me look fabulous and so I'm happy. <laughs> Incredible. We've had lots of questions coming in when we said that we're going to be doing this chat with you. And um, I'm going to request Team Kid Stop Press to head out to ask this question. The first one is, from Thara Gowda. Thara's from Bangalore. Where are you, Thara? <laughs> oh, nice. I, I like these little hooters. Why didn't I get one? I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sonam. You look Hi. lovely, and I'm having sore throat because of the party that I was in last night. However, I have a question for you. What is that one funniest question you had for your gynecologist? Uh, when you went for your regular checkups, even before you get conceived? What was a f uh, like a funny question? Yes. You asked your gynac, even before you conceived. Um, you know, there's this weird thing where people tell you to put your legs up <laughs> after you've had sex, and they were like... <laughs> <laughs> and put Do we have a huge round butt? of applause for Sonam's honesty, guys? Come on, get those hooters I out now. I was just now. like... I was like, is that, she's like, this is an urban myth. <laughs> that you don't need to put your pillow under your butt. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Yeah. Thank well you, done. Sonam. Thank you. Uh, the next one is for Satrupa Sharma. Satrupa, where are you? Hi. Hi, Sonam. Hi. You're looking fabulous, first of all. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Saru, and uh, I'm a mommy of a seven-year-old who's turning seven tomorrow, by the way. Oh, my God. A Virgo. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So, I wanted to ask, like, we moms are always bombarded with, you know, unsolicited advice yeah. from someone or the other, our well-wishers. Uh, so, what was the most unsolicited advice that you got, or, and how did you respond to it? You know, there's this um, thing in our Indian culture where when you give the first bite, you have to do this puja. And the Pandaji was like, you need to give this child honey. You know, they, they tell you to exactly. feed the child rice. And, and you're not supposed to do that for the first year. Like, whatever books that I've read says that in the first year, you cannot give your kid honey because it causes botulism, which is this yeah. disease that a child can get because honey has a specific bacteria. And I had this argument with the Panditji. I was like, I'm giving him papal puree, whether you like it or not, um, as the first bite. Um, so there are some old things that we do in our culture, which are not that's that, you know, which like in what we know, at least what I know is different. Like maybe a lot of moms have done it and their children are fine, but I, I was extra precautious. Exactly, and you get to hear that phase. Oh, we, it's like we haven't raised our babies. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Satrupa. Next question is from Ishna Batra. Hi, hi, Sonam. Hi, I'm, I'm Ishna Batra. I'm a content creator and a mommy to two beautiful children. Congratulations. Turning, thank you. One who's turning nine day after, wow. and uh, one is a four and a half year old. So many Virgo babies, huh? I know. Yeah. My, my son is a... <laughs> Hello, 